Hi everybody, this is a Clockwork Game Show and today we are going to try to make these volume buttons work in Pico 8. Hey everybody, I'm Christian and uh, in the last little tutorial we installed Pico 8 on the Game Show. Uh, and if we run this, it's really great. It's a really, as I said in my review, which should show up there. Um, it's, I think it's a really great way of playing Pico 8 games, but the problem is that we have here right now is that if you press those volume buttons, nothing does, nothing changes. The volume doesn't change. Um, that's because of the way the Clockwork um, game shell is, um, is set up. It's kind of like the volume buttons are digital. They have to have like software running in the background to make it work. So there is no software running to, to make this, um, to make the volume work in Pico 8. Something we're gonna fix. And while we're doing this, we also gonna I have to uh, I want to show you how to access your cards because you can download cards like from the internet here right now but sometimes you want to download your own cards that you programmed on your PC onto the game shell and that requires you to find out where um, the Pico 8 version installed on here saves the cards and that's kind of might be difficult to find out all right so First, I'm gonna shut down the Pico 8. And so we're gonna to have to log into the game shell slightly differently than we used it last time around to install Pico 8. Because you see, there is a lot more happening on the game shell. Like you wanna have access to the entire directory or like the entire hard drive of the uh, of the game shell. Um, and the, like the login that we used last time around is, is kind of like very superficial. It doesn't give you full access to the entire device. So again, I'm gonna run this tiny cloud window, which I think is really neat because it gives you like all those different possibilities and it gives you exactly, you know, all the all the data that we need. So uh, we're gonna switch the computer because we need to install a new type of software to get full access to this little device. All right, so here we are. The software we're looking for is this one. It's called WinSCP. And I think it's just for Windows because it's WinSCP. I'm not sure what you would use if you were on Mac. Probably something like FileZilla or something like this. Um, you need to, f like if you have any alternatives for WinSCP for other platforms, let me know. But today we are just gonna use WinSCP. I think FileZilla should work as well. I saw people using FileZilla as well. All right, so I'm gonna run this now. I already have this installed. And it looks a little bit like this. It launches you, it's really bad. You cannot actually move the window. Oh, you can, that's great. Okay, so this is um, how it looks like when it launches you. And it gives you like this, uh, it requests you to create a new kind of um, place to log into. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna log into, um, I think this is fine. I'm not sure, I think. SFTP might be fine. Let's try this. And we're going to type in the uh, IP address. So 192.168.0.47. Port is fine. Username is going to be CPI. Did I say SCP last time around? I think I just said CPI. And again, all this information is on this screen. So you just have to type it up. So let's try that. Okay, and it works. So now we are browsing, this is a browser, this part of the browser, like this is our PC, and this part is the game shell. So we can browse all of the folders. As you can see, we can we have access to the game folder that we had previously, we can check out everything. There is the Pico 8 that we did, uh, put in last video, and also there is like the now installed Pico 8 executable. Um, and so, if you want to find, first let me let us look at the card folder. So if we go out uh, into the home directory, you will see there is just like two things, CPI and lost and found, there's nothing here. That's because the way it's set up, I think it's by default, uh, you don't see the hidden files. So I'm gonna s click on this gear icon over here, and I'm gonna go to the panels uh, folder, and here we go, show hidden files. I'm gonna click on that, enable this. It's also control, control alt H. <clears throat> so now hidden files are visible. Let me see if this should be visible. If we go into, yes, right. We have to go into a home slash CPI. And there you see all those gray things. These are hidden folders and hidden files. And you will see one of those folders is called Lexalawful. That's where 
Pico8 keep, keeps its, um, its cards. I'm going to go in here and you will see Pico8 in here and we're going to click here and there is the cards folder. This is where a Pico8 will store its cards and now you will be able to you kind of like drag and drop from this window to this window your cards in here to be able to play them on your, uh, on your game shell. Okay. So how are we going to, now that we have this kind of access, how are we going to make a volume, um, the volume stuff work? Well, it's a bit of a hack. Um, but if you lo look for, uh, at the game shop forums a little bit, wait a minute, there we go. So how to there is this how to install PQ8 on a game shop thread um, in the Clockwork Pi game shop forums. And it's actually like, it's just a comment in this thread. Some person, this follower, this person called follower46 made a really excellent script. Thank you so much for follower46. This is a really great contribution here and I love it so much. Um, so he has a, like a link to the code, which is here. This is the code. And it, uh, he gives you some information of how to get this running. There's even like a video you can click on. Uh, so I'm gonna post this code, uh, the link to the code in a doobly-doo so you can check it out yourself. But it's basically a Python script that we need to run instead of the game of the of the Pico 8 uh, when you click on the game shell uh, on the Pico 8 button. Um, there is some problems. We have to tweak some things. Some of the things are not quite right. Specifically, uh, this um, this this uh, directory here that has to be changed, and we have to make sure that we put things in the right places. But yeah, let's start doing this. So first of all, I want to get this this script. So I think if I um, I'm just gonna. Um, I don't think this will work, will this? No, it won't. Um, let me just get the, the zip file then. All right, I will unzip the zip file. I will put the um, pico8 volume.py on my, on my desktop. Then I will switch to WinSCP, and now we have to put this um, this script somewhere. Uh, and there's like multiple places where you can put this. Um, I want to put this just in where pico8 is installed installed. So I'm going to put it in games, um, pico8. And here's where you put the zip file. Um, I'm going to actually go inside this pico8 folder. So there's pico8 uh, in upper uh, all caps and inside there's a lower lower caps pico8, the pico8 pico8 folder. And that's where I'm going to put the, the uh, Python script. All right. So this is the Python script. Now we have to run this instead of the executable. The executable, I think, is pico8 uh, underscore dyn. That's what usually is being run when um, when you push the icon, the pico8 icon on a game shell. But now instead we want to run this, the, the Python script. In order to do this, um, so the guy who created the script says we need to actually install Python first. Um, and they say here sudo pip install and this sub this is something we have to run in the console so that's something we're gonna do first I don't th I'm not sure if it's necessary but he says it is and I'm I'm just like it's it doesn't hurt and the way we're gonna do this is up here there's open terminal there's this open terminal button control T we're gonna push that and it runs like this uh, this terminal window, which allows us to run commands directly in on the game shell. And we're just gonna type in this command sudo, which means super user do pip install pi x hook. And then we're gonna execute this. So it will take a couple of seconds. You need to um uh, Wi-Fi connection and on a game show running for this because it will actually download some stuff from the internet or at least will see what's ne necessary for this. So it gives you actually that all the requirements are already written, um, satisfied. So I'm guessing maybe it was already installed, uh, but it doesn't hurt to, to run this anyway. So this is actually it. We are, we're finished here. We can close this one. Now um, let us now edit um, the icon the script that is being run when you click on the icon on the on the on the game shell so this is actually a different folder yet so we have to run get out of this folder we need to get out of this folder we need to get out of this folder now instead of the games folder we need to go into the launcher folder and inside here is going to be a menu folder and inside here is going to be a game shell and inside here is going to be 50 pico 8 and so this is the folder that contains all of the information that the menu uses to display the icon and run the scripts when you click on the icon on the, in the menu.
And so the, the part that interests us is here, this pcreate.sh. That is, we can edit this. And that is actually a script that's being run when you click, when you click on the on the icon. And so what does it do? Let's just step right through here. So first there is, I think the hashtag lines are basically commented out. So um, you can ignore them. They are not, not doing anything. This is the first one that, that's important. It changes the directory to home CPI games pq8 pq8. That's the, the folder that we had our script in already. So that's really great. That's something we want to do. And then uh, this line here, this very long line, this SDL video driver that actually runs pq8 underscore din, right? So we want to do something else now. We want to, instead of the Pico 8 din, we just want to change this into Pico minus eight minus, uh, actually, no, wait a minute. Um, we have to, hmm, sorry. Uh, we the, the line that we need to type in is here. We actually want Python to run a script. So this is a bit of a complicated thing. So what we're going to do is Python and then dot Pico 8 minus volume dot py. The rest is, is fine. The rest is, it will can stay the same with a draw rect. Actually, wait, no, the rest uh, has to be, has to go because these are the splore and draw rect. These are things that we usually like information or arguments that we send to Pico 8, but this is not Pico 8 anymore. We're just running a script. The script itself will then in turn launch Pico 8. Okay, so um, so one thing that is different in my script from the one that 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 the uh, the guy, the person who created this, suggested is I'm not using this full um, this full path. Instead, I'm just do, using dot slash Pico 8, just like running the script from that folder. I think that will be fine. I think that should go, work fine. Uh, I'm going to save this. Um, one of the reasons why I'm doing is this folder, uh, this path is different in our case because we don't have the, just one pq8. We have like, you know, lowercase pq8 and up uh, and, and all caps pq8. We have like this difference here. So the, we are, have to actually change all the paths in this script. Okay, so this will now run this script. This will now, if you click the, the icon in the menu, it will launch Python and it will make Python run the script. Now the script is not quite uh, prepared for, for what we're trying to do. Uh, we have to edit the script as well. So again, we're going to go uh, back to, we're gonna, uh, this is saved. We're going to close this. We're going to go back to um, WinSCP. Uh, is it WinSCP? Yes, yeah, so WinSCP. And we're going to go back to the Pico 8 folder in games directory. So games, um, Pico 8 and Pico 8. So this is where the volume script is, is in, hidden and we're going to edit it, this one. And as I said, um, this script will launch Pico 8, but uh, we're going to have to find it. So here, all the way on, on the bottom, this is the line where Pico 8 is being actually launched by the, by the Python script. We have to change this, this, uh, this path. Uh, because the path that the script expects is not the path that we have in our in our situation. Uh, so what we have to do is like CPI slash Pico 8 in all caps, then slash Pico 8 lower case, and then Pico 8 din and so forth. Ah, I found a little bit of a mistake here that we made. Uh, very important to keep this in mind. It has to be in games slash pico8 there's a games in between there that i forgot it was a bit embarrassing when i tried to run this okay um yeah i need to save this okay is that good so did that work i just want to make sure that it worked uh edit let's edit this again yes so home cpi games uppercase pico8 lowercase pico8 and then pico8 din this is this is the the, the volume that we need all right uh, the, the path that we need to run in order to run the volume script so let's see if this works when i run i will run the pico8 now Okay, so it, it runs pico8, everything is good. Now let me find some game that has... Um, so let me launch a game that has some music. 
And you can see if I press shift and up and down, it sometimes takes about a couple seconds. You can see a volume um, bar that changes size when I, and, and you can actually hear the, you can hear that the volume is actually changing. So yeah, this is how it works. You can even change if you want to, you can even go into the uh, Python script in here and you can start changing the look and feel of the bar. You can change maybe the delay. There's a little bit of a delay. You can maybe change that as well. It's it's really up to you. You can experiment with a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's how you get it running. Thank you so much, Follower46, for this excellent script. I think it's really great. Let me know if you have any difficulties for getting it running. There is, I, there is a steep learning curve here. And if you get one thing wrong, there's just like the one path somewhere wrong or if the files are not the right place, uh, you have to basically restart the game shell. So this is very frustrating. But if you line up everything perfectly, it's really great. One thing to note as well, like whenever you update the menu, uh, it will probably break the script and you will have to recreate the script. So I will probably back up all of the scripts that you edited and, and uh, uploaded. I will back up them so you can restore them whenever you update the menu. That's it for me. See you next time around, guys. Bye bye.